morning, everybody. I'm Hyla, and welcome to Hyla Talking on the last day of 2012. I'm going to do a quick year in review for you. So January of this year, I went to New Orleans, got food poisoning, came back, made a Pimm's Cup on the show. At that point, we had under 9,000 YouTube subscribers and just over 3,000 Facebook subscribers. Remember those two numbers, very important later. February, we did lobster with my friend Laurel. We cooked some live lobsters for Valentine's Day because nothing says romance like killing a thing in your kitchen. And a lot of people call this bitches. I don't understand that because especially if you like eat any kind of animal at all, I don't really see why you would be offended by killing a lobster. All right, March, not a whole lot happened there. I did some shepherd's pie, whatever. April was a very sad month. Our friend James Devery passed away. Um, he did my hair and for the, for the Learn to Cookbook, for all the pictures for that. And he was a really, really devoted and wonderful stylist with just a super creative mind and a generous spirit. And we still think about him all the time. So we love you, James. And I hope that you are happy. Okay, um, May, we had another little sad moment where I took home a stray dog named Tough Titties, if you remember that, and then she ran away, and then I was really sad, and I got drunk, and we tried to shoot an episode on how to make fancy grilled cheese sandwiches, and it ended up being a disaster, and so that video is up somewhere. Um, and I also released the Cave Lady Cooking Book, the Paleo Cookbook. And so um, that was pretty cool. I wrote, you know, I think that was, so that means three cookbooks that we did this year. Um, June, we uh, went to Florida, Chris and I went to Florida, and we also went to VidCon, and we also made the Chick-fil-A copycat recipe, which, you know, whatever, people watched it, some people liked it, some people ooh, didn't like it, um, but then in July is when, like, whole shitstorm happened, and, like, the Chick-fil-A was all over the news, and then, like, boom, like, that video just got, like, put all over the internet, we had, like, over 60 links, like, to that video, so... That was an interesting little roller coaster. Um, and we also uh, went to Denver. Chris and I went to Denver. We did a lot of traveling this year. Um, and we did Indian tacos. And that was our last video of the summer season um, before we took our summer break. And that one was pretty popular, although a few people thought that I was being racist for making Indian tacos. I don't know, whatever. Um, love you guys. OK, August we took summer break. And that was great. And it was hot as shit here. Uh, so I'm really glad we didn't have to shoot because we probably would have like burned up because we can't have the AC running when we shoot videos because it makes a terrible sound. Um, uh, let's see, August, September, we went to visit Louis Miller Barbecue in Taylor, Texas and shot uh, sort of a little documentary thing there on like how they do their smoked brisket and also showed y'all how to do a brisket in the oven if you don't have a fancy smoker thing. Um, in October, we did Cake Pops with South Austin Cakes. Um, friend Jessica came on and showed us how to do some Halloween cake pops, and we also got Mr. Banjo! If you hear a little rustling sound in the background of the audio here, like a zombie trying to break into the house, that's Mr. Banjo trying to get in. Um, so we got a little puppy to keep Daisy company. Daisy's being very nice and quiet and sleeping right now, as she usually does. She's a way better dog than Mr. Banjo. Do you hear that, Mr. Banjo? Watch yourself. Okay, November. We went to Santa Monica to the Taste Made party and met some fancy people and some YouTube people, including Rob Nixon and Anna from Lovely Lady Cakes and shot some collaborations with them. That was a lot of fun. We also did homemade Twinkies because the Twinkie Corporation went out of business. I actually haven't heard anything else about that. I heard they were going to get bought out by Bimbo or something, but I don't know. I haven't really kept up. Um, December was a crazy month. We released the print version of Learn to Cook. Um, Chris and I got married. A few people noticed this little gem on my finger. Um, and then had a minor surgery and then went to New Orleans for our friend's wedding. And um, now we're going to start shooting some videos for 2013 again. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. So remember those numbers I told you at the beginning? So 9,000 YouTube subscribers, now over 40,000 in a year. So that's like over 30,000 growth, which is like pretty fucking phenomenal, I think. And then Facebook, we had 3,000 Facebook people. And now it's like over 10,000. So I think that's pretty much cause for celebration. I think overall, given the goods and the bads and the pros and the cons of 2012, I think overall 2012 was actually a pretty good year. And I hope for the best for 2013, for all of y'all and all of us, for me, Chris and Banjo and Daisy. I love you guys. And, um, and I love you guys out there too. So everyone, please be safe tonight. If you're in Australia or the other side of the world and you already are on, you know, January 1st, then glad you made it. Um, otherwise drive safe. Please don't drink and drive party responsibly, all that stuff. And woo, look, I made you some confetti. Woo, happy new year, woo, cheers. God damn it, I got confetti in my car. Okay, I almost forgot. Well, I did forget, and then Chris reminded me. I have to pick a winner for the blend tag giveaway. So, I just did random.org, and I picked a random number. There was 252 comments on the website for that post, so pretty good odds, actually, but I'm 
impressed that that many people came to the website, so thanks guys. Okay, so between 1 and 252, the random number generated was 75. So what I'm going to do is start at the beginning, the first person, and count down to 75. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, it's Evelyn! Evelyn, I would like to make smoothies for my family. I need a blender mostly for my mother because she cannot eat hard foods anymore. She's in the hospital. I would blend strawberries, cherries, oranges, apples, and tomatoes to give her vitamins and antioxidants to help her immune system ward off any infections. My YouTube username is a piece from the sky. Congratulations, Evelyn! And I'm so happy that you won. It sounds like you have a really great need. And so I will pass that on to Blendtec and um, message me and give me your address so they can send it to you. So congratulations. Thanks to everyone else. And I hope everyone has a happy and wonderful 2013. Cheers again, and congratulations to Evelyn. Mwah.